this is my reaction to Andy Max Season 2, Episode 7, Head Over Heels. In the last episode, the school decided to split the students up into Group A and B, and gave A special treatment and gave B not special treatment and treated them kind of shittily, if I say so myself. However, it was a reveal at the end that it was this big lesson about, like, how some people get certain things and some people don't, and how it's, like, in the end, they are, like, the same. So it was kind of, like, a a good lesson, actually, I will admit. So, that, that was good on them. Bex and Bowie told Andy that CC and Pops are selling the house, and that included Andy Shack, and Andy kind of was not happy about that. Well, very not happy about that. Because it's kind of like her like safe place, I guess, and her way of, and just or like her place to get away from like the shit of real life. Which living in the real life, I know there's a lot of that. So she was not very happy about that. And let's find out how she deals with that. This episode, maybe. That's that mask scared me. I'm not even gonna lie. That scared the shit. I'm like, what the fuck is that? And then Tigress, she's the feistiest. <laughs> hmm. You know, if you ever need someone human to talk to, my parents are professionals, and I'm sure one of them takes your insurance. Dude, I haven't lost it. <laughs> Tell him, Marilyn. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's up? I have decided to become a screenwriter. Oh, that's cool. The script, and I need someone to read it, and I've chosen you. Oh, well, this is well, a surprise. Cool. And we don't really get back on Cyrus like in a like five years scene together, or like having like one on one time. So this is interesting. Substitute flat. I really don't think I'd know a good script from a terrible script. This is a terrible script. Oh. I guess she does. They don't just have rock climbing. They have hang gliding, volcano what is jumping. This? Or you can just sit in a treehouse with Like some sort of virtual reality thing? This place must be new. I didn't know there was a virtual reality arcade. There it is. I knew it. use in virtual reality. It's a date. You should come too. Oh. Gotta go. Late for practice. Well, that's awkward. Bye. So close, Buffy. Wait. You and Jonah are a couple? Who can tell? We've never used that word before. And yet, so, so they still have no, okay, good. Because I still have no idea if they were actually a couple or not, and but clearly they don't either, best. so. Does he? That makes me feel a little better. Sometimes I don't know. That's okay. They taste better when I steal them from you and you pretend not to see. <laughs> Figured out. <laughs> Guilty. Everybody knows I like extra napkins. I didn't, but obviously Marty's been paying attention. I could bring him to the arcade, and then it would be like a double date. Which it won't be. But that way, I won't be the third wheel. That's also a really good idea. Do you think Marty would be okay with that? Hey, I need a plus one for the virtual reality thingy. Wanna come? Yeah, cool. He's okay with There's it. There's another service we provide. You organize them by feeling. What? <laughs> it's supposed to go. Happy, fancy, flirty, edgy, angry, dangerous. Where do controlling and bossy go? Silly, those aren't colors. Neither are any of the things you just said. So did you get a chance to read it? Yes. Oh. And? Oh. Cyrus, here's the thing. I really didn't... Oh. ...expect to love it as much as I oh, did. Oh, she can't lie to him. Really? I mean, you she liked it? She what can't... was your favorite part? She is lying to him. She can't... Oh, um... Like, probably the noir break mystery. His... Or the Dream, space stuff. Or whatever the phrase is. I, how it all my builds to that right ping now, pong so. match at the end. So we're a fake couple. A virtual couple. Funny. Go again? Goggles on. I just don't want you to fall. It's a game. I can't. No, in real no! life. <laughs> you see, he. See, that's what she meant. You need to be careful. Oh my gosh, that was hilarious. Are you okay? I'm sorry. That was so funny. Did you hurt yourself? Oh, she's okay. No. Oh. Let me see your chin. No. Don't. Are, Are you, you okay? mad at me? No. Oh. 
I have no idea what just happened. Oh, there's the ice pack. Or cow, or whatever. How bad is it? Wow. It's not so bad. <laughs> yeah, it looks great. Uh, I'm gonna go get you more napkins. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'll come with you. <laughs> Feels like you're mad at me. I'm not. Can we just stop talking about it? Is he embarrassed? It hurts to move my jaw. Oh. Is he embarrassed to oh. fell on like hurt himself? Well, they're having more fun than they are. Who's ready to make a movie? Spielberg? <laughs> it's us. We're gonna shoot Disillusionment of Souls. None of this would be happening without you. Oh, oh. please don't put this all on me. <laughs> and he asked me to be the star. Well, because... Obvious. You read it. Not yet. Oh. Did you bring my copy? <gasps> Pause! I just decided what I'm wearing to the Oscars. Play! Oh, if she Aren't hates it, a little ahead of ourselves? and right. tell Cyrus, right. that's going to be very awkward. First, there's the Independent Spirit Awards. Good night. And he didn't respond? I know, it's like... It's almost like he was already asleep. Oh, that could be true, yeah. He didn't answer this morning either. Yeah, I was going to answer, but my phone died. That sounds right. like a lie. Right. No. Something's okay, up, then. though. Talk I don't know if he later. really is mad at her or not, but something's up. Sure. You might want to tie your shoe, though. Well, since you stopped first. Why are wow. my shoes aren't untied? I had a great time yesterday. Yeah, it was a lot more fun being a fake couple. I couldn't deal with all the drama that Andy's going through with Jonah. But you know that with us, it wouldn't be like that, right? What's he implying? What? <laughs> with us, there wouldn't be any drama. We were great together. Yeah, we're great together because we're not a couple. Mm. I'm just saying, I think we could be. And I'm just saying, I, I know we shouldn't be. We have the perfect relationship. Not to me. I don't want it to be fake. I want it to be real. Is that a possibility? Already. We're already running partners and bannering partners and plus ones. And I get you extra napkins. He's got a point. We're halfway there. We're more than halfway. It feels more like virtual nothing. Oh. Well, that's not good. At least he's not giving you some lame excuse like, my phone died. He is. He did. He said that. You ask him one more time. <laughs> Why would I do that? Okay. Because the first time you ask, they're just saying what they think you want to hear. The second time, they stand their ground to prove that they weren't lying the first time. And the third time, you get the truth. Wait, really? But only because you cared enough to ask three times. You can't tell from this. Is, is that true? Because I've never heard that. What if I fake him some brownies? <laughs> No, three no, times. three times. Oh, <laughs> you gonna eat that? Twice, but apparently you don't get the real answer until the third uh, time. I guess so. I told you that. Bex. She's so wise. <laughs> yeah, because she said his movie was good. Oh. Yikes. What's going on with you two? We broke up. Oh, I'm so sorry. Is it too soon to ask if I can have his muffin? <clears throat> yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> but it's just going to waste. I mean, that's true. If Joe's not going to eat it, might as well give it to someone that will. Just, just saying. You have terrible taste. And not just in talk. Oh, rude. But she read the script. Excuse me? So either you tell him the truth, or I will. Oh. Well, she's probably gonna say it in a horrible way. At least Bex will try to let him down gently. Sorry, Cyrus. Oh, I, I just told you the did. truth in the first place. 
You're just feeling so good about myself. You still should. Finishing a script is a huge accomplishment. That's true. Quit worrying about college. You're 13. Yeah, you I know. You don't have to be you yet. You're still figuring out who you are. And that's okay. It is? It really is. Cyrus in progress? It's pretty great already. That's sweet. Thanks, Bex. You know, Cyrus in Progress would be a great name for a web series. <clears throat> oh, there he is. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask him for the third time. One more time. time. But are you sure? Nope. Oh, okay then. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I sh shouldn't laugh. <laughs> I'm over it. So he was mad, but... I, I guess it's not with it now. How'd you trip? That was so I don't want to. She tripped on nothing. Oh. Well, that was a mood change. That was my reaction to Andy Max Season 2, Episode 7, Head Over Heels. So Cyrus decided to write a screenplay and had Bex read it to see if it was good or not. And it was not good. But she told him it was anyway. Eventually, she did end up telling him the truth when he wanted to actually make it a real movie. I will say, I did enjoy that, seeing Bex and Cyrus, like, just together because like I, I like when like two characters that don't really interact one on one a lot when they start to just because it's like it's like not out like out it's out of nowhere and it's interesting to see like just one on one so I, I really like it I hope there's more of that or with any two characters that don't really interact that much just because it's it's cool to see yeah I like it Andy and Jonah had a little bit of a problem with Jonah fell and hurt his face or chin and was mad at Andy because she laughed or just because he fell and embarrassed himself or something still not clear but eventually he got over it after she fell and he started laughing so it's kind of like yeah so they're good now and I will say me like me personally I probably do the same thing because I because when people trip or fall or something I just find it funny I'm pretty sure I laugh both when Jonah and Andy both fell so, it's, it's just funny to me. I don't know why. Mari told Buffy that he wanted them to be in an actual relationship. But, Buffy said no. And, from there on, things have gotten awkward. And I feel bad. Cause it looked like Buffy wants to be with Marty, but, I don't know if she just doesn't want to admit it to herself, or just, like, actually risk ruining the friendship they have, which, I mean, is understandable. But, I mean, if she really does like him, she should try to, like, go for it. Also, why is it that every time I say I ship two people together in this show, it literally never works out? Because I said I ship Bex and Bowie, and then she said no to the engagement. And then I said I ship Buffy and Marty, and Buffy said no to Marty when he asked to be a real couple. So, it's like, every time I say I ship someone, it never works out. So, maybe I should stop saying that and just let it, let, let it go. Just, yeah, because clearly... I'm like a jinx or something when it comes to the show. So yeah, that's it.